Hello again. So on this video, we will build the uh, the horn right there. Let's take a look at it. And I have more detail that I will post this on the, uh, post the uh, image so the image so that you can download it. And um, now the light system is actually tucked in underneath that uh, hanging. Let's see if I can find another one. Right there. And um, th basically the light system I look at on the other image is uh, they are connecting inside there and come into that wire. So uh, we don't really see it, but I have a... Hold on, let me grab the... Uh, other images that I did on oh, here we go. Okay, so that's the hook. This is how it look. Here we go. So basically the light system is I think is right somewhere there. I, I have another image. Can you see right there? It's coming out on the center actually. Let's see if we can see it better here. Right there, can you see? Just right there, and then just slide into that hook. I think it's that's how it's connected to here. Like just get inside. Um, that's how they rewire ring. So in this case, we don't even need to build those wire. They just build it, hang it in there. Okay. So now let's take a look at these images. It's really straightforward. Um. We can build separate, see, they're all separate piece. You can build all separate, or you can build it at one piece. Like one piece on the front here, and then one piece on the back. That's totally, um, in the future when you do it, totally up to you. Okay, so, but for today, we're gonna, uh, this video, we're gonna build only two piece. This piece and second piece, now the ball we can just use, uh, and then the third piece there. Okay, so let's get started, and um, we will do a cylindrical. So cylindrical, and oh by the way, um, I add group node on for the uh, on the group node. I add a selection handle, so that's easy to select. Okay, so now. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna move that outside of the way. Reposition it. Let's turn. Look at on your uh, image plane. For, so, see if we can find the location. We can't really see the location on the image plane. So, <clears throat> you could just kind of a uh, guessing it right there okay so basically let me rotate 90 degree there on X and I'm gonna move so basically tap underneath right there okay so we can reposition it more so now I'm going to do with a six side. Here we go. And I'm going to turn off cap this time. It's kind of a too much interaction. And um, we will build right there. Um, basically can can you see right here that bar will be attached to there let's build the bar first so that we get an idea uh, i'm gonna just use q for the bar and i'm gonna align it to this guy quickly here we go hey where's my cube oh my cube cube is a inside because my cube is so small <laughs> okay so and if you look at on this view see it look like this 
here we go see the picture here we go so we're gonna make it thin and we don't need to cut a hole we could just add a screw screw right there so make it thin and then move it up and a little thinner so depth you can you can scale them too if you like uh, but this is it here we go make it thinner okay and I'm gonna relocate it somewhere there okay and um, now we're gonna add let's do multi-cut quick ow, 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 show, show. No, multi-cut and cut so that we can extrude this section and then I'm gonna push forward and that's it so now let me reposition it better so that center okay. if it's too thick just move around like um, you can go to vertices I don't think this is too thick well I do it anyway so here we go okay and um, now I'm gonna grab the let's rearrange the bolt here so <clears throat> because they are two side right so we got to do both so I'm gonna shift select okay up select both can you see both here we go that one too can you see that selection okay so we're gonna move it down just like that here we go just like that and um now when I look at it, it's actually, it has a little angle, but because, can, can you see, because these are really, has an angle, but when we built this bar, we didn't build an angle. I built straight up, so we can just leave it like that. Okay, so now we got that part, so we kind of uh, try to move this down we can leave it down a little more like that okay here we go and um, i'm gonna look at on the side view quick like this so basically we will um let me grab the picture again where's my picture okay see that part so that will be on the 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 back uh, the back. Like so, basically, I'm gonna grab that, extrude it, and extrude just a little bit, so that I can extrude this section to create. Here we go. Can you see? Look like that. Okay, I'm gonna make it a little bigger. So now I'm gonna grab the vertex, uh, grab the object, move it. Now this section we may have to modify the geometry, but I already delete the um, um, the curve. So now before that, let's duplicate this. We don't want to recreate another one. Just oh, sorry, Control D. And now, basically, you're gonna rotate 90 degrees. So this one will be minus 90 because I didn't face transform. That's okay. Here we go. So that will be the back part. Oh, it's not permitted. That's excellent. Okay, this might be too small. Let me make it. Hold up. That's that's good. So let me scale it. How about let's type it in. Point one point two. I avoid touching that. That's all because I don't want to re removing. Um, 
I, I don't want to um, try to move like modifying this geometry I wanted to make it stay so this one will be the same uh, 1.2 here we go same same same, same height here we go. okay so now it looked like this right so now I'm gonna grab this face push in and Let's look at on the label again. So it has a little taper coming down here straight and these are smaller than that. So I think, um, and uh, let me modify this guy, grab the vertices because it's, it looked like this, right? It is kind of a, on the font has a little space there so now I can scale this down a little bit okay and now I can extrude again extrude and I can I can move a little bit you can do offset if you like can you see like that or you could just scale them and then extrude again press G now I can move forward and I can scale it up a little bit just like that extrude one more time push forward and it's actually based on this is a little flare so we're gonna flare it out you can switch to scale too if you like and then flare and then extrude again okay and then I can push now on this section you could do like this extrude here we go and then I can move forward there we go. so and I can punch the hole there a little bit, extrude, and then you can offset it. And then extrude again, and then push forward, and then scale it down so that it won't penetrate it. Okay. So you can push it in really deep if you like. Okay. And I think that's it. So now, and then before we add more, a, a little more detail, I think based on the picture I see, can you see it has a little more flat area from there. Let me uh, make that thinner. There we go. And then extrude and then make it straight up like that. There we go. So now when we press 3 it will look like this and we can start it to work on con stop continuity. Multi cut, press 1, so we're going to loop that right there, 1, 2, now can you see, look like that, press 1, let's make that sharp cut again, here we go. And I can do one, two there, let's press three, here we go. So if I want that to be a little more sharper, so I can cut right there again. Here we go. Okay, press one. So this section has a little cut there. one actually I could see right there is really sharp bevel we don't have to add all the detail like that so um, let me cut there cut here and there oops sorry five and press three here we go okay this one now this has to be sharper 
Okay. And actually, when I look at on the reference, this is a little smaller. These are larger on the back side. So um, I'm going to just easier by doing this. And then, uh, oh, don't extrude, just scale it. You, need, uh, you can scale Z and X. Just like that. And then let me cut again right here. So press three. Here we go. So now I can come back to this one. Press one, press three. Sorry. Here we go. So it looked like this, right? Um, on the back side, is it just go easy. Just only a few levels there. So press one back. Now we need to split this so that they become four. Oops, sorry. So it's become four corner. Can't just leave it there on this one. Come on. Multi cut. Ah. One, two. Here we go. So we're gonna cut loop here. One and another one. And then I could just extrude this section. And then just push, just like that. That's a, that's all we need. And now on on this part though, you could bevel it. What's going on? Right there. Slack, slack, bevel. Here we go. So that look like this. There we go. And then um, stop continuity. And that's it for this for the horn. I am not able to just try to do something simple here we go okay uh, something going on I think my system started to act up let's delete history face transformation here we go. save try again what I am doing okay here we go sorry I'm, I'm trying to latch uh, rush in because it's getting a little exhausted <laughs> Try to build thing. Uh, try to build so so many objects in one in one short period of the time. Here we go. I think I might cut too many. Too too many. Yep, I want that to be a little more soft based on the image i think let me cut that one's good how about get rid of that line this line let's press three again i think that's a little more softer and that's it delete history and now i'm gonna group this together delete history modify face transform and I'm gonna call horn horn mesh. There we go. And then I'm gonna control G, group it, and then modify center pivot. What did I do? Hold on. I have to select two object, edit group. Oh, I really have a problem with my screen redraw. I think it's because of this guy. The um, Maya could not deal with that. See, if I do Control G again, group. So now it's really on the group. 
Okay, so modify center pivot. And um, you might wonder, like, what's deal with that? Because these are a screen redraw, which is a memory of graphic card, but somehow is um, the interact between between CPU and graphic card with the uh, memory access is do something. So my ya yeah, couldn't figure it out. Is there any selection or not? So it just put a no on it when it group. It's not group on top of this object. So now that what explain. Um, that was the the reason that caused that kind of a uh, irregular performance. This will be horn group. Okay. All right. And I can change pivot point. Press D and move it up about right there. Okay, press D again. And we're done for the horn. Okay. Maybe template that. Go. Save. And that's it for this video.